Detroit is making its way back on the map for its engineering marvel. Last month, part of I-94 freeway was shut down to commence the installation of the Second Avenue Bridge. The 1,000 ton bridge structure was built off site in the Wayne State University Palmer parking lot. It moved across the freeway using rolling platforms, but the innovation doesn't stop there. In downtown Detroit, you may have seen this building called Exchange, but what you may not have realized is that it's being built top down using a technology that's being deployed for the first time across North America. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid goes in depth on the construction process and what it means for the Detroit community. Right on the border of Greektown and Central Business District, a new Detroit landmark is on the rise. It's called Exchange. And this 16th floor under construction tower is so unique that labor steward Chris McBride can't stop raving about it. I talked to all my friends and people about this uh, project here. What do you tell them? That we're doing a building from the top down. The first of its kind across North America, the 207 feet tall exchange tower is a prototype for the lift build technology, a system that turns a construction site into a manufacturing plant. We're not putting people on, on beams 100 feet in the air that have to be tied off. We're trying to eliminate all the fall hazards. That is our number one objective. Get rid of the hazards, get rid of the inefficiencies on the site. Joe Benvenuto from LiftBelt says the $64 million tower is supported by these two concrete structures called the spine. They not only house the elevators and staircases, but also act as a pulley to hoist floors that each weigh around a million pounds. It's a fully cantilevered design and there's no, there's no columns in the way of the exterior glazing. So if we go up to the floors, you'll see a wide open floor space that is great for the residents, but also uh, assembled in a way that's very efficient for the worker. Each floor is built on the ground using using over 150,000 pounds of steel and 110 cubic yards of concrete. Once assembled, it's raised at an average speed of 25 feet per hour. So if you look up now, you can see all the ductwork and plumbing and fire protection, fireproofing. That was all done right here. The lifting process for the 13th floor started at 4 a.m. and by 11 a.m., the team was ready to start the four hour long locking process to the floor above. And once complete, an ideal work environment is secured. We can immediately condition the space so our workers immediately go into an either a, a cooled condition on a hot summer day or a heated condition on a cold uh, winter day. How much money are you saving through this technology? So ultimately our goal is trying to be 10 to 20 percent in savings for cost and 30 percent on schedule. After four years of research and development and 14 U.S. patents, Joe says the system is proving to be a success and will pave the way for future building projects, especially considering that only 50 construction workers are needed on this site. Land is, a, is at a premium and the development of the city needs to happen in a much more denser environment. This type of technology helps us accomplish that, as well as reduced labor demands and hopefully faster schedule times and, and, and more economical budgets. Now, once complete, Exchange is going to be primarily a residential tower with few commercial spots on the first floor. It's set to complete by late spring of 2023. And when it does, it's going to put Detroit once again back on the map of using innovative construction technology. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.